In many developing countries, women are living on the front lines of climate change. Their level of responsibility for food production has caused them to experience the impact of climate change more harshly, especially because their position in communities does not allow them to make decisions that affect them and their families directly. Growth, gender, poverty and the environment all play important parts in development. Recognizing this relationship is at the core of improved and sustained development for all. For small-scale farmers, a climate-smart approach can make all the difference. It can increase their personal income and positively impact the environment. In many instances, it can slow down and reverse land degradation, improve food security and help poor communities to be less vulnerable. However, climate-smart agriculture is more than just technology. It also has a human dimension. It is about the ability of men and women to cope with the impact of climate change, which they experience very differently. This is where a people-smart approach, combined with a climate-smart approach, could deliver something different for agriculture and for development as a whole. Why is gender also important for climate change? Because it is one of a number of factors that can define vulnerability. Not just physical vulnerability, but also the vulnerability of income, the vulnerability of households, the vulnerability of investments. So we need to think about how different elements of development experience must apply to how we think about climate smart agriculture. We're not talking about climate change as an abstract. We're talking about something that's really defining risk and opportunity in the lives of people and the lives of communities, and in some cases, entire countries. Climate smart agriculture should translate to increased production allowing communities to adapt to changing circumstances as a result of climate change, providing low-carbon alternatives and building resilience to the impacts of climate change in small-scale farming. However, a survey by the Rio Plus Center in partnership with Fanopan in five countries in southern Africa, namely Lesotho, Mozambique, Swaziland, Zambia and Zimbabwe, found that women and men do not have equal access to support for climate-smart agriculture. The survey also found that men and women approach and respond to climate-related challenges differently. Respondents also said that more attention to gender was warranted. We need to make sure that if men and women are involved in agriculture, they both sets have the capacity to contribute to a better agricultural development, to better investment and to better outputs. And we have to understand and think about what does that mean? Does that mean that they're always different? Not necessarily. But we have to consider what those needs are how are those needs different? What are the pressures that may differ in a female-headed household compared to a male-headed household? Looking at climate change issues from the perspective of both men and women has many benefits. It allows us to identify and respond to the needs and realities of people, allowing them to adapt their changing circumstances in a manner that suits them best, especially as smallholder farmers. In Mozambique, the feedback received suggested that equal access by men and women to technology, inputs and credit was as important as technology and politics for the next 10 years. We have long known that socially defined roles have led to women sometimes taking on work in agriculture that pays very little or nothing at all, such as processing, marketing and looking after small and large animals. As a result, their opinions on which technologies would be best are often not sought. Because these women are not involved in economic activity, they often look towards government and other public institutions for support to conduct their activities. <laughs> Wasege u sifunzi sana tindela tegli mange gonga asitana ne baga well vision tisho botake well vision FAO na Lucy Jeff. Oh mine egli mange gonga gong sitile gakul esmen sela ngaguti vilele ashis alkoni gona kasi ngoba koni le guti nchanya le lumbi la besi sela mkati sela seng faga le tisho mai seng bisa lochan leti ke no maseli ni le le lemvula se hambil. Climate 
in order to ensure that policies are in line with each other and to encourage meaningful dialogue, an online community of practice was launched at the recent FANAPAN Regional Dialogue in Madagascar. We're really talking about building a community of stakeholders, interested parties, and people committed to taking action. The COP was set up with the support of the Food and Agricultural Organization and in collaboration with the Eastern African Farmers Federation as part of a partnership project of the Rio Plus World Center for Sustainable Development and FANAPAN. What it is really is a platform or a mechanism for bringing people, usually like-minded people or people interested in a topic or theme who work in this area to share ideas, discuss challenges, collaboratively identify perhaps solutions to those challenges and also to create perhaps a coalition of activity and action that could really create change. What is emerging is that uh, they are partnerships so we need a lot of uh, actors to be involved. We also need participation of the communities. The research is that uh, researchers do, they actually think they're communicating but they're not communicating and they need this bridge that will take the information to the farmers because they got the data from the farmers. The farmers need to know what is happening but that information ne never gets back. Recently an e-discussion was held on gender and CSA and we highlight here some of the contributions received. Kenneth Katungisa acknowledged awareness is vital in making policies practical. As gender issues are engraved in culture, people need to be convinced to change. Mary Goretti Gachagua points out, a study showed that men preferred meetings, whereas women preferred field visits, pictorial messages and SMS. The value of having regular debate also is something that people, that colleagues seem to be interested in. A space where you can challenge the, 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 the consensus and the status quo and the understanding and that in itself can also help to inform and perhaps expand our understanding and help us to promote this idea further. This communication platform is already in great demand as smallholder farmers, government officials, communicators, researchers and development partners regularly share their experiences and ideas online. We are the change we want to be. And it's a race and it will be rough, but uh, if we put our heads together, work together, I think we definitely can move forward and really provide some active solutions and practical ones for not only for ourselves, but also for all the other stakeholders out there who really need some answers and not just more questions.